Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play Silent Hill Downpour for the PS3. My name is the Flightless Bird, this is your Story Base Gaming Channel, and today Today we're climbing up in the Centennial building here. We're just getting to the library. And there's still quite a few puzzles for us to solve, so let's see how we do today, shall we? I hope you're all having a wonderfully fantastic day today. As we got a map of the next floor of the Centennial Building. Uh, we're in floor 305. Yes. It looks like we gotta go to... We gotta go to 301 to get the main hall. And then there's a video archive room way back there. All right, well, let's go this way. And oh, thank God, it's a health kit. So if I look at my health kits, we now have five. That is huge for our survival here. Pretty scary image here. Oh my God, what the? I love how they give you a jump scare while you're trying to balance the jerks. Gotta get another one here, too. Could have swore I just saw something appear on the top right, right there. Oh my god! Right there! The heck? Oh, I don't know where this thing's uh, mannequin is. What's oh, over there? Oh, there's another one. Shoot. Why do, why do you keep swinging the wrong way? Swing that way! No, that way! That way! She's right there! I wonder if I can just hit this thing. Yeah, I think I can just hit that thing. Is that it? Just make sure. Yeah, it looks like I don't even need to kill her. I just need to go after her thingamajig. What's this? A crowbar? I'll take a crowbar. Okay, let me see now if I can actually explore. I'm not totally disturbed. More pistol bullets. Need a little bit more light here. Okay, I can't jump over this. So I can go this way. I need to go back to my UV because well, you never know what invisible things are going to jump out at you. Looks like the, uh, the feet did not go downstairs. Strangely enough. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was clicking on that like 15 times and I couldn't go downstairs. Anything over here?
Okay, where are we? Oh, we are... What is that up there? We are in the back area. Couldn't get here any other way. This is the offices. Is this where the bathrooms are? Oh, these are actual offices now. I hate the way the doors close in this game. Okay, well, let's go through this door. Right there. What do we have here? Is this a voice shock test? Do you see a vase or two faces? Uh, negative space is an invaluable drawing technique that allows the brain to disconnect from the common shapes and patterns of certain trained to see instead of focusing on the shape around the object, around a subject. By focusing on recreating this negative space rather than the subject, uh, the artist is able to create a much more accurate image. This phenomenon proves that the objects, people, and things we take for granted don't actually exist as we see them. In fact, they are merely shadows flickering through the empty canvas of the human uh, subconscious. Another example of negative space is found in the famous uh, Rubin? Rubin vase, an optical illusion created by Danish psychologist Edgar Rubin. The simple black and white diagram of a white face on a black field can be viewed as a vase or as two human fe uh, faces, meaning nose to nose. Consider the best illustrative example of figure ground organization. The diagram challenges the viewer's perception, transforming the image from the vase inanimate to the face's animate and back again before the viewer's eyes. As if the as in the world around us, sometimes the most interesting things are hiding in the shadows. All right, we have another thing that I can't read. Again, I don't know if that's a one. That can't be a one because there's a one there. So what is that? A seven? It, it's just it drives me crazy that. They, they would put things here that are almost impossible to read. Uh, C7912TQ. I'm supposed to see something in here, aren't I? Almost looks like a monster. Hard to tell. Hate the doors in this game. What's this? Uh, psychological report. Dr. Wayne Sarah, uh, Warning Garden, Warning Glen Milton, psychological evaluation probation here in Palem. As a male, 43 years old, he is serving a blank year sentence for multiple felony counts, including third degree murder and sexual. Assault of a child below the age of 14. <sighs> I have no sympathy for this person. He appears to be in satisfactory physical health. The prisoner is currently being considered for probation. After multiple sessions with the prisoner, I have concluded he does not suffer from the psychotic or physical disorders. Rather, he has shown continually to have an inordinate interest in young children and manifests significant predatory traits. As a result, I feel he poses an imminent danger to the community should be released from custody. Is therefore a poor candidate for probation. I have a number, another thing down here. Uh, this is uh, PS257-55N. At least I think it's an N. You know, this game really needs, I, I think it's just for like that Until Dawn feature where the text shows up on the side of the screen. Allowing you to be able to read it, even if you can't read the, uh, the thing. Slides. Oh, slides for the, uh, that movie projector thing. Remember that? Because there was a movie projector on the, uh, the lower floor. And I could click on it. Because I could click on it makes me think you can interact with it. And if we just found slides, that means we should be able to interact with the, uh, with the, uh, the, the slideshow. That also means I need to go all the way back to where I was. 
Hopefully there's no respawn, so hopefully there's no... Um, we're just gonna throw another enemy at you just to annoy you type nonsense. Now, you could say, hey, Flyers Bird, what if you keep going straight? Maybe there's a uh, fast way back downstairs. There might be. But there might not be. Come on, come on, stay on the platform. Stay on the platform. There you go. Oh no, stay on, stay on, stay on. And you go around. A door here? No, okay. And where from here? Are you here? And jump down this way. Oops. Well, that's cool. Oh, never mind. I was about to say, when you pause it, the, the game continues to transition. No, it does not. Although, if you hit select, it'll automatically go to that window when you land. And now the question is, A, how did I get here? And B, how do I get back down to the slide area? Okay, let me look at my map. So, to go upstairs, I go like to the top area here. Now, th there's something circled there. Okay. I think that's the elevator. And it's 207, the, uh, yeah, 207 says video archive. That's the elevator. I don't know if I'm hurt or not hurt. I mean, he has his hand by his side like that. Does that mean I'm hurt? Huh. Probably does. Let me, let me get some HP after I heard some creepy noises. I heard creepy noises. Scout the room before you touch this thing. Okay. Put this where you could interact with this before. Maybe from this side? Yeah, this side. Right, so, what do we got? We have... Slides. Time? Looks like time. Hold on, hold on. Let me get a, uh, let me get my notepad out. Let me write this down. So we have 305. 1245? And 230? 305. Okay, this can't be 1 because it's going towards 1. So it's gotta be 1245. And that's gotta be 230. So 3122. Three twelve two. That's that can't be the code for this. Or can it? What if it's No, it's only ten numbers. Okay, there's only 10 numbers, so 5, 45, 30 can't be it either. And 
And I don't know what orders these are in either. Like, I don't know what's first. Uh, let's say 2.30's first because it's earlier in the day. Although I could be wrong on one of these numbers. Especially a 12.45 one. That could be 1.45. Actually, 12.45 could be first. So... Forty-five, thirty-five, twelve, two, three. So twelve, two, three could look like this. Could look like that. Forty-five, thirty-five. What could forty-five, thirty-five look like? Um orientation of the clock but these aren't clocks these are these are one through tens so what if uh, 305 I mean five could be represented as one uh 30 could be represented as six and then 45 could be seven Um, I don't, uh, I'm trying to think because there's only 10 numbers and yet there's 12 numbers on a clock. There's 12 numbers on a clock. What if the 1245 is not 1245? What if the 1245 is just 145? Then the code would be like one, two, three. One, two, three. Hmm. Okay, so minute wise. It's not hour wise. It's not one, two, three, and there's no twelve. Uh I, I I'm still convinced that it could represent directions. So that could be forty five. That could be 30, and that could be 1, or 05. But I don't know the order here. Okay, that's both of those. Okay, that's both of those. And that's both of those. Hmm. Doesn't make any sense. This clock doesn't make any sense. Okay. Hold on. What if I'm thinking of this wrong? What if it's not directions? But what if it's uh do, 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 what if it's supposed to be the the numbers? So, 5 would be represent like this. 30 would be 6. Would represent like that. And then 45 would be 9. Represent like that. I know that seems weird, but 45 is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, 45 would be the ninth rotation. On a 10-digit spinner, though, it looks weird, but that's how it would be on the clock. 9 would be over here. So how would I extrapolate this? Um, uh, let's see. Make you a 9. Do a 6. All right. Make you a 9. Uh, you a 6. You a 1. <gasps> it worked! Oh, thank God it worked! All right, I'm gonna write this down for the future. What was that? Nine six one. Oh, finally, we have progress. All right.
Can we not do the progress? <laughs> we um <clears throat> What the heck? It's a hanging person by their feet. ID card. So what's it gonna do? <gasps> then we're gonna play ball with all your hard work and nothing. This is weird. I see it. Sort of a win-win situation, right? Why does he have a gun? Like Napier. Out like that? I got no business breathing the same air as you and me, right? Now, the courts and the bleeding hearts out there insist we sequester guys like him away from the general population for their safety. Can you believe that shit? For their safety. Let me ask you this. What about Charlie's safety, huh? So this is how it's gonna work. I'll give you access to Napier. Make sure you get some quality time with that worthless sack of shit. Oh, he's the one that let me I'll in. To it, no one finds until I've had a chance to scrub the place down. Keep you in the clear. But in exchange, you're gonna owe me a favor. Uh oh. You can do that for me, sport. What deal to the devil do we make? Our shadows are going all over the place now. Of course you can. I know you're a man of your word, Murphy. You be a straight shooter with me, I'll be a straight shooter with you. Yeah, I'm going out of the way of when he's pointing a gun. Remember, Captain, you owe me one. Oh, that was cool. I think the radio's broke. Yeah, that was cool. So, uh, this guy. So, if I'm to read this right, it sounds like the uh, the guy that we were just read about, the the piece of garbage. It's possible that he might have either killed or assaulted um, a family member, and we want to get revenge for that, and that's why we killed the guy. George Sewell, corrections officer, U.S. Service 20. There are numerous reports of prisoners and fellow correction officers that Officer Sewell maintains suspicious contact and relationships with certain prisoners under his care. I've also been allegations of abuse of power by Officer Sewell, including personal threats. Officer Sewell immediately divides these claims. Conclusion. Until further investigation is done into various charges against Officer Sewell, promotions and or merit wage increases cannot be approved at this time. Positive contributions to the team. Officer Sewell have perked work attendance through the entire period review and consistently reports to his duties in a punctual fashion. Sounds like a fine, outstanding citizen. What's with the bodies? Alright, so we got a key card. Whoa. That was a major glitch right there. Uh, we got a key card, but we don't know what to do with the key card, so I assume we have to press on. This way. Yeah, this way. So I assume we have to crack on, and uh, the area that we were heading is probably the area that's going to need a key card. I don't know if that changes in future playthroughs, where you can just open that right at the beginning or not. But we do have the code. This game loads so badly sometimes. Am I even going the right way? I think I'm going the right way. Yep, going the right way. And I don't know what the, the, the reason the game loads poorly. As I said before, I'm using a non-English DVD. Uh, the entire box is in French. Uh, I'm very surprised it plays, and I'm very surprised it plays in English. Uh, but the entire box is in French, so maybe it's a, uh, a regional issue. If you've played this game before and you know, let me know in the comment section below. The only problem is I've been playing for like 25 minutes now, and there's zero chances to save. So, if I die, 
Well, it sucks. Part of the reason I use a health kit there. Because I do not want to waste all the time that I played today. Do too many into an enemy and the enemy just killing me. Good job through here. We already went down there, so this time we go to the right. Bunch of tools there. I don't like this music. I don't like this place. I don't like how there's a bunch of weapons everywhere. How do I get to my gun? Shoot! I just used a health kit. Because I try to go right and left here on my... So easy to hit right to try to scroll to the right in my inventory. What is that doorway over there? I don't like this at all. Oh, I don't like this at all. Here's the problem. Okay, I'm very surprised nothing has jumped out at me yet. What? Will this work? Yeah, it says elevator ID card. 18-4? I really don't like the noises here. I just know I'm at full life. W L M N F M. For my part, I know nothing with any certainty. Just the sight of the stars makes me dream. Can I get my crowbar back, please? I want my crowbar. I want my crowbar. Thank you. That must be DJ Rex. Oh, we've read about him. We've heard about him. Wait, he's actually in there? No way. That, my brothers and sisters, was another rock and roll classic coming to you courtesy of DJ Ricks on this fine afternoon. Weatherman says there's a storm coming our way to spoil the fun. So batten down the hatches and snuggle up under the blanket with the one you love. Because it's going to be a rough ride. And speaking of rough rides, we got another dedication going out to my man with the plan. Murphy Pendleton. Somebody out there has got an eye on you, MP. Why do you keep so talking about me? And keep it on track. Oh, well, that's the old hey, school song music. Got a disc spinning right now, so you ain't interrupting nothing. <laughs> man, you look like you just saw a ghost or something, you I? Was that Sound Hill 2 music? No. Good to hear. So what can DJ Bobby Ricks do for you? Uh, Murphy Pendleton? Like I was saying, what can DJ Bobby Ricks do for you, Murphy? Got a track you want to play, or...? I'm the guy you've been putting out the dedications for 
Yeah. I got the message. I came to find you. Afraid you got the wrong man, Murphy. I don't know what you're talking about. But if there's a song you want to hear or a dedication you want to make, I could. You're listening to the DJ Rick Show on WLMN-FM, where the tracks are tight and the sweet melodies flow on and on. It's always a perfect day with DJ Rick's your on-air friend to the end. Look, man, I came through hell and high water to get here because you called me. Now cut the bullshit, because I don't have time for this. Chill out, man. If you don't keep your voice down, you're going to get us both in trouble. Well, tell me what's you going on. Want that. No one might be listening. You understand? Thank God someone finally heard me. I, I can't even tell you how long it's been just spinning record after record after record. What? Hey, someone. What the hell's going on here, Rex? What is this place? Time to explain. If we're gonna get out of here, we gotta move fast. We get this far too, we might. Might even have a chance of getting out alive. What's the plan? Right. Listen, I got this boat. She's more down at the marina. She's fast, real fast. Probably is some motherfucker ransacked the studio and check the keys. I'll hotwire it. No problem. Uh, that's not gonna work. This place, it, it does strange shit to reality, man. It's like, there's rules you gotta, gotta follow, you, you know what I mean? Bobby Ricks? Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Who's it going out to? But I, uh, that's, that's nice of you to think of me. Yeah, real nice. Oh, what happened? Thank you. They're coming. Who? Does it matter? We gotta find those keys. They're on the silver chain says freedom. You can't. This, um. <gasps> Pendleton. Oh, it's you. Put the gun down, damn it. We might have a way out of here. You. I need to use your phone. Sorry, lady. Calls come in, but don't go out. Just because folks want to be heard, don't mean they're willing to listen. See for yourself. What the hell's going on around here? Are there other prisoners you could be chasing no. after? No. Oh my god! The, what the? Oh my god. It's like an army of those things. Everyone go. What the heck happened? Where did everyone go? Diluent? I guess it's diluent. Highly flammable liquid. God, that's just freaky as heck. Oh, maybe I had to burn this? Are you kidding me? I can't just use my lighter? Oh, maybe I have to do it from here. Okay. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have done that. Oh god, not again. I really hate these scenes. I really, really hate this. I 
And these are not. I don't know which way to go. I don't know which way to go. <laughs> Left is always right. Left is always right. God, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? That's why I hit these seats for Silent Hill Shattered Memories. I don't know where the heck you're going. You're just kind of blindly running. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Thanks for giving me a dead end game. Running in circles is what's happening. Because you gotta go a very direct direction. And I have no idea what direction that is. And now I'm stuck. I am literally stuck. I cannot move. I I'm dead. Nope, okay, there. I finally jumped over. Meanwhile, I'm getting hurt like crazy. You see me disintegrating. But at the same time, the game doesn't tell me where the heck I'm going. I hate these scenes so much. This is the worst part of the game. Like, bar none, this is the worst part of the game. This is the worst part of Silent Hill Shattered Memories. This is just the worst because you don't know where you're going. And if you know where you're going, it's probably really easy. Just go in that direction. But if you don't know where you're going... You just die because you don't know where you're going. It's that simple. Why? 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 Why is this good gameplay game? I mean, who 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 sat down and said, you know what we need to do? We need to take the worst part of Silent Hill Shattered Memories and put it into Downpour. That's what we need to do. Oh, you got to be bloody kidding me. The last save was way back here. Are you kidding me? Was another rock and roll classic coming to you, Curtis. Oh, and you can't skip cutscenes. Right, well, I'll be back with you guys in a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and I'll see you in a few. So I'm basically back to the scene, and there's a couple things. First off, if you go in this room to the left, the game saves. Yeah, it saves here. It doesn't save you when you enter this room. It saves when you enter this room. Which is just annoying. Secondly, there's a medkit here, which is very nice. So if you don't go in this door, you don't get a make it and you don't get a save, which is wonderful. Uh, also, here, he mentions there's a fire exit, which is what we want. So that's why you set the fire. Which makes a lot more sense now that I've clicked on things. I have no idea if that even stops this thing. Whatever. Come on, go! God, the tank controls this game can be so frustrating sometimes. Alright, um, I guess go right this time? I think I went left last time and it didn't work. Oh, what just happened? It was like, what the heck? It was like a mirror, and there's a valve on the other side. Am I still being chased? Well, that answers that question, doesn't it? Where do I go? Where do I go? I shouldn't be going back the way I just came, right? Come on, damn you. Close. 
games. Like, why am I going back the way I came? This doesn't make any sense. But this is different. Golly, what the heck is going on? What the heck? Oh my god! What is going on here? The thing's falling from the roof! You know, I can still get hit even though the thing's on the other side. I think that's really, really unfair, game. It's like so unfair. What's this? What's this? Go, 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 We got a save point, which is nice. What the? I just need some eternal darkness stuff right here. I can't move. What the heck? It's like impossible to move here. What the heck is going on? I uh, exit this way. Go down this way. Okay. I think we made it. Being hanged? What the is this place? Someone in a wheelchair. I think someone said, hey, you know, we never fully explored the, the wheelchair thing of Silent Hill. Well, let's just make random wheelchairs all over this place and. There's someone in there. Wait. What the? This is cabin in the woods. That's exactly what this is. If you're not seeing that movie, go watch it. It's really good. What the heck is going on here? Looks like I got like really beat up. Looks like my stop. Oh come on, not this again. Oh. Why am I slowing down? I didn't really make any mistake. To run past this guy, and yet I still get hit by it. I see exit, I see exit, I see exit. What the heck is that? What the? Oh my god. I don't know what. I, that must be that monster that we saw. To make it here. Oh my god, I'm, I'm just gonna keep running. What the heck are these? Oh, I don't even want to get hit by that. Yep, did not want to get hit by that. Oh, oh you gotta be kidding me, that killed me! Oh. I hate these sequences. I think this may be another game like Silent Hill Shot Memories where I play through it, I beat it, I say I've done it, and I just stop there um because i don't know if i can replay this game again it's not a good, got a cool ideas it's got a got a cool themes but like the combat and these nightmare sequences are just 
It's just not a lot of fun. And when you play a game, play a game because you have fun. There's a lot of reasons to play a game. You can have fun, you can be scared, you can be stressed out, but I, I'm not. I don't think I'm on a clock here. Come on, I tried to go backwards and I couldn't. Oh, just barely avoid that, I think. What do I do here? What do I do here? I can't go back the way I just came. Because that's pointless. It's just we're in a giant circle. Oh, there we are. That's nice. I do not want to get crushed by one of those. Oh! Oh, go, 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 I don't know what the point that was, but it was something I had to click on. Oh my god, this... Like I said, this game would be so cool if it wasn't kind of annoying at times. See, those things in the right too, those probably would kill me. Come on! You know how they stupidly stun you. Oh my goodness, the delay on this. Oh, come on. Come on. The delay on this is so annoying. Sometimes he presses it faster, sometimes he doesn't. There we go. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh my god! What the heck? This is so disorienting! I don't know if I'm falling to the left or falling to the right. Come on, come on, stay with me. Stay with me, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me! Don't want to tell me back to this area that we were at at the uh, very beginning of the game. Why well, you gotta be kidding me? It, it's so hard to see because of the angle of the camera. It's just so hard to see. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break. I'm I need to stop. I need to. I need I need to get a refresh on this because I am tilted by this game. Then I gotta do that clock thing again. I mean, I it may back me up all the way back before the the things that shoot that blood out for crying out loud. I have no idea what the last save was, but my name is yeah okay okay it's only right here that I I can live with this. All right, my, my name is a place but this is Stories Game Channel. And this is our continued blind let's play Silent Hill Downpour for the PS3. Much thanks to you all. Again, thank you so much. Uh, I do want to give a special shout out to Daddy Dagoth, uh, who recently became a member. Thank you so much, Daddy Dagoth. Really do appreciate all your support. 
Uh, if you'd like to support me in this way, link is in the description below. But for now, hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, means awesome day. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.